Hello, this is HT Wingnut, and uh, today I uh, just recently received the new Sager NP8651, I believe it is, based on the Clevo P650 SE. It's Clevo's new uh, thin 15-inch um, notebook, and I was going to give you a quick overview of the uh, system, and uh, I just took it out of the box, and here's what you get in the box. Basically, is a laptop, obviously. The power supply, and user's guide, uh, utilities disks, and a recovery DVD run. So, pretty straightforward. Um, the uh, cover, and I haven't even taken the plastic off it yet. Um, I'll go ahead and do that for another uh, quick review, but uh, it's like a uh, brushed black aluminum. Um, the bottom is also a like a brush, not brushed aluminum, but just like an aluminum. There's some sort of metal alloy down there. Um, you've got uh, the ports around the system. Make sure you can see this. You've got HDMI. USB 3.0, two display ports. You've got a bunch of uh, indicator lights, digital out, microphone, headphone, memory card slot, SIM card slot, um, USB 3.0, two of them, a gigabit Ethernet jack, and a lock port. And you can see the chrome accents in the back there. And you have the power jack and the eSATA slash USB combo port. On the bottom, you can see the vents. And uh, we'll go ahead and open this thing up now. And there we have the system. Um, the keyboard, it's like a chiclet style, but it is an island keyboard. It's a removable keyboard. Uh, I noticed a couple of screws on the back side. They have keyboard, a little place to push out the keyboard, so that should be an easy swap if you ever have to do that. But the keyboard itself, I mean, I just, I haven't really played with it at all, but initial impressions here, I mean, this thing is rock solid. There's no flex whatsoever in this keyboard. Travel a little deeper than what I, I'm used to on my W230SS, of which I can uh, show you a comparison of size on that in a minute. But uh, touchpad and the touchpad buttons. And I'll go ahead and uh, turn on the scale, and while I'm waiting for that to boot up, if I can find my tape measure. Go ahead and see if I can do this without blocking the measurement. Roughly uh, 15 and a half inches or 39 centimeters approximately. Uh, wide about 10 and a half, about 10 and a half or so, 10 and three quarters inches deep, about 27 and a half centimeters. And thickness, make sure we get this is under an inch. Hard to do this with one hand, but you get the idea. And as far as weight, this over here, this on the scale. Whoops, I hit the hold accidentally. We're at 5 pounds, 12 ounces. Power adapter. Self is 1 pound, 14 ounces. I want to throw on the cable, you know, 2 pounds, 3 ounces. Dimensions of the uh, power adapter. Uh, 
six and three quarters inches long, which is about 17 centimeters. Three, roughly three and a half, three and a quarter to three and a half inches wide, about eight and a half centimeters, and roughly one and a half inches thick, or about three and a half centimeters thick. Oops, sorry about that. I accidentally kicked my tripod. All right. Um, the power supply itself, let's see if we can uh, get a zoom in on that. Is 19 volt, 9.5 amp, 180 watt power supply. We want to compare that with uh, Here is the Clevo W230SS. This is, I forget what this is, 120 watt. And the uh, Dell, this is the 230 watt. So it's roughly about the same size as the 230 watt power supply. Um, it's used on Dell. And if we really want to check, Here's a 330 watt beast from uh, the SLI Sager laptop. Um, next I'll go ahead and uh, open the bottom of the uh, laptop and expose the inside so you can take a peek at uh, the guts inside this thing. It looks like there's a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 screws to get the bottom panel off, but um, hopefully it shouldn't be too difficult. Not as easy as the other cleavos I've used. Take this island trim stick. There we go. Very simple, I guess. There we have the insides of it. So we have your two and a half inch SSD bay, or hard drive bay, SATA bay. Um, battery, easily accessible. Looks like a few screws get out, and there's your connector. Looks like this is your GPU. Got the RAM covered, and your CPU. Two of the four sticks, RAM sticks, are here. The other two are on the other side, I'm assuming. And there's your Wi-Fi card. Uh, M2 slot, M2 slot. And that looks like that's about it. That must be the PCH. They at least have that covered. It doesn't get too hot. Now I'm going to go ahead and button this thing back up and power it up. 